Hey, what is up, fellas? Okay, today I have another video. Um, we have a, I have a Toyota Matrix 2006, and uh, one of my neighbors, they tried to steal his um, not too long ago, a few months ago. Uh, they, they, they started cutting it, and then they woke up, and they came out, and then they left, and they made a big ass. Uh, cut in his pipe so anyway so I'm gonna do my DIY protection cage uh, and this, this is a saying this is a universal method for any car basically you just got to go around it I have another video where I show more in detail for the for the for the RV so basically I just go around it this this little this little square is supposed to be smaller than the cylinder so it doesn't come out so this is going to go something like this see you can see it doesn't come out so it's going to go somewhere around there give it like a little inch for movement on both on all sides and then and then i made my little cage here out of tools I have some old, some old wrenches that I got for free from my neighbor. He passed away, so his wife, so they gave me some of his tools. So I have a lot of extra and they're old, so. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm, I, I did like a little cage. So I'm just gonna weld it all together and put some cable around it. So I'll show you when the product is done. All right, fellas, cage is done. It's not my best work. I use whatever I had. I run out of rebar. So I'm using these old cheap drill bits and, and that. So the cage is done. Then I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the, 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 the winch wire or cable. So. All right, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, so for all those that wants to see some welding, okay, so we have the titanium EC Flux 125. This is from Harbor Freight. This one cost me about 200 bucks. Very simple. You just make sure you have a good connection, a good ground connection, and then it's just like a you just point and shoot. So you, we're gonna do a little right here. So okay, that's it. Very simple welding. So I, so I have somebody, some people in the comments that that I'm a pro and all of these. No, I'm not a pro. I'm a truck driver. <laughs> this is just point and shoot. Very simple. You just gotta make sure the surface is clean. And then your your ground is connected. So you can have good good connection. And okay, so now we have we have built the cage uh, with different materials. So I'll show you when it's done. I'm gonna install the the wire, the, the, the winch cable. And uh, I'll show you when it's done. Okay, fellas. So I'm almost done here. Um, um, just put the wire, the, I just put the cable through everything the most important thing is it should not be touching should not be touching the or rubbing with the with the pipe or the cat because it will create a hole with the movement so stay away from it so So there you go. So the way you do it is you just put these little connectors everywhere. 
it will confuse a thief. And also, if you cut one side, it's like a little web. Everything's gonna be connected and separated from each other. So you cannot untangle it. It will take you a long time to untangle it. So, so there you go. Uh, for those who ever haven't seen my other video, uh, I was a victim of a catalyst converter theft on my RV. It cost me $800. So that is the reason I am so protective with all my cars now. So I have this one and I have another Nissan. And I already did this on my other Nissan too. This cost me in material. Probably. Uh, just go see my other video. I, I mentioned you where I got them. Where I got all the materials and the RV. The RV version of my catalytic converter. Protection. So... Anyway, uh, like I said, you build a cage out of rebar. Go get rebar at Home Depot. I run out, so I started using all the metal I could have, like these drill bits, these long drill bits. That they're, they're no good, so I started using these. They were trash. So I got some nice metals. I even got some old wrenches. These are good because these are harder to cut. Um, I cut it. I cut the ends of them, and these are harder than the other stuff. So this is like hardened steel, so that's pretty good. So, okay, so what you do is to connect the cable so so it doesn't move because it, 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 when you connect these, it, it tightens, it tightens the, the cable. So I bought a bunch of them. You can get them at Home Depot. So, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna just, um, I guess I wasn't prepared for these. Um, yeah, they're right here. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put them together. Uh, let's do which one do another way. Yeah, this is probably gonna have to do this one here. There you go. So you're gonna put it together. And then I just can't do it with one hand. Okay, so this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna put this one here. You're gonna put two of them. Then you're gonna put these and then you're just gonna tighten them up. Tighten them up really good with the socket, socket wrench. And put them in there. There you go. So you're just gonna do that. See? Now they're solid. Beautiful. So, okay, fellas. So this was the video. Oh, and then I'm gonna, probably gonna throw a, a little weld here to, to sabotage them on purpose, at least one of them. So, so that these cannot get un, unscrewed. So, all right, so this, this was the regular car version of my fix, my protection for the catalyst converter. So you don't spend thousands, some people spend thousands of dollars in replacing it. Believe me, they will scare away because there will be those, those haters in the comment section. Oh, this is so easy, I can take it out. No, dude. You will get when it's dark. You're not gonna sit down and relax and try to figure out how to untangle and and cut it. There's so many things you need to cut, and by then you will woke up already the neighbors with so much noise because you will be here at least half an hour trying to figure out how to cut everything. And why 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 go to the trouble of cutting these when the neighbors? doesn't have protection and you could just cut real with 30 seconds here and 30 seconds over there see it doesn't make sense so this is perfect uh the rv i did it like i, I did it oh almost three years now or over three years and they haven't touched it 
and that one's been sitting on my part on my driveway for forever so they haven't touched it so it works they don't want to mess with it they move on to the next car so all right fellas hope you like the video